Time is an interesting concept. Time is abstract. Time is not real. But time is also very much real. And that's the one thing that matters. For me, knowing this man for several years, I deeply connected with him and in a sense feel that we are, in essence, our own family. I know I would do anything for this fella. And now by proxy, his, his wonderful bride. Um, and, and that just shows that time, it doesn't need to be this much. You don't need to spend X amount of time to, to generate a real connection. And in that same regard though, the other half of the coin is that time is finite. And though it can happen quickly, time sometimes gets taken from us way too fast. So to make a point now for you and Sarah, you've been, you've been so lucky to find an incredible woman like that. And she's been interested in sharing that her time with you. That you gotta make sure you make the absolute best of all of that time at, at all times. Uh, because you never know how long you have it, so you just want to always embrace that and, and cherish what you got. You guys are an unbelievable couple, and I'm, uh, I'm glad fate conspired to bring you two together, and in the nick of time, it works out wonderfully well. Thinking about, about today, what you're about to do, Justin and Sarah, you're about to, to be giving a special gift to each other that is far greater than any gift you have ever given and a gift that does not take away, a gift that actually fulfills, a gift that completes each other, a gift of very self. Because marriage is that very self-given gift of love. Because every single part of your being, every part of, every part of you, everything that you do is no longer your own, but it's with each other and for each other. Today I stand before you happy and humble. As I watch my daughter Sarah start her new life and adventures with Justin. I have had the honor and privilege to be part of Sarah's life and have watched her watch Sarah grow to the beautiful woman she is today. She has dreamed of this very special day since she has been a young girl. And now her dream has come true, complete with her own Prince Charming and Justin. Sarah, I wish you and Justin all the happiness and to a beautiful life together. Cheers.
Justin, you take Sarah to be your wife. You promise to be faithful to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and to honor her all the days of your life. I do. Sarah, do you take Justin to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and to honor him all the days of your life? I do. May the Lord bless these rings, which you, you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Sarah, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Justin, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lovely bride, Sarah. All I'm going to say is, you look absolutely stunning today, and how lucky Justin is to have you. And I love the snackies when we were in Florida. Justin, since the moment that Sarah has met you, she's just she's just glowed. She's she's been so happy, and I, I've never seen her happier. And I think that that just perfectly sums it up. You're just you're such a a kind-hearted, sweet man, and I, I can't imagine anyone more deserving or better fitted for Sarah. Today, it's the start of a new chapter, and I know you're gonna, you're gonna run into some challenges in your new, and as all relationships do, you may have already ran into a few, but I want you just to remember that the great thing about love and relationships, it's just, it's just learning to grow together. It's just caring and sharing, and lots of tenderness and hugs. Just, just all the hugs. So I wish you both all the happiness in the world. And I'm so, so, so happy that you met one another. So if everyone would please raise their glasses with me. Here's to the groom that has a bride so fair and a bride with a groom that is so rare. Thank you. I also would like to welcome Sarah into our family. We are uh, 
she has been a part of our family for some time, so this is official tonight, and we are very happy. And I just want to thank Justin for taking care of my little ray of sunshine. I wish you guys all the love and happiness in the world, and yeah, all the best. I love you both. Picture two, please. Notice the high heels, my mother's. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to the fashionista. <laughs> I just wanted to say that like, I kind of always knew we would end up here eventually because I've always felt so at home with you. And there is nobody that knows me like he does and I love that this wedding is a piece of us and it feels like our relationship. It has so many pieces that resemble us and the things that we do and the things that we always hoped for. Um, and I'm so excited to get to share it with you that you can kind of see it come to life. Thank you all for being here and sharing this very special day with us. Thank you to David, our DJ. Thank you to our chef. Thank you to everyone who helped make this possible. But included in that is my beautiful bride, Sarah, who pretty much with Helen and her staff put this together single-handedly as I was not in the province, much less in any position to be helping for the better part of seven months and then even then afterwards. And so, she has helped make this the most magical day and she's put it together with very little help or thanks. So please raise your glasses to her and all that she's done for us. This is it.